don't get it in your mouth because it kind of tastes weird. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a first impressions video um, on the Profusion palette that I got at Target. I did get two um, the time that I went. So the first one went, should be up by now. And this is the second palette that I got. It is the Profusions Cosmetics Chocolates palette. Um, and let's just go ahead and open this bad boy. They do come with a brush, which I like very much. Um, I think that's really cool for them to put a dual-ended brush in their palette. Um, but this is what it looks like. I really honestly bought this palette because of this color right here. This one, this one, and this one down here. These colors right here really kind of drove me to buy this palette. Um, and also it was $10, so I was like, heck yeah, $10 palette, let's go, let's get it. So the face is already primed, and I'm just going to prime my eyelids as usual with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, just so that you know it has the same chance that I give every other eyeshadow palette. And I'm just going to blend that in with a Morphe brush. Drag it into the inner corner just a little bit. So then I'm going to jump into this shade up here, which is called Sugar. And I'm just going to take it on the same brush and just apply it all over the eyelid. That way we have a nice base to apply the other eyeshadows with and set the concealer that way it's not tacky next I'm going to take this shade up here likable and I'm just going to use the brush that a little bit of fallout but I don't mind um, and I'm just going to use the brush that the palette came with. And blend this as my transition color. So I'm going to go in to this shade right here called Roots. And I'm going to take it on a Morphe R39 brush. And I'm going to blend this into the crease. Okay. Just going to go from outer corner to inner corner with this shade. Really just trying to build it up here a little bit. I'm going to take this shade right here, Fuse, on a Morphe M411 brush. And I'm just going to blend this into the crease as well. Just to deepen that uh, roots color up a little bit. I'm just going to go back in with that likable shade, our transition color, and just soften these colors out here. Digging it so far. So the next color I'm going to take here is this black um, called VIP, this color right here. And I'm going to take it on a e.l.f. brush, just, you know, nothing too smancy fancy. I'm gonna take a little bit at a time and focus this color out in the outer V. Also gonna put a little bit in the inner corner. 
just a tiny smidge just a smidgen then I'm gonna go back in with my Morphe R39 brush and pick up the shade fuse and go over that black just a little bit also a little bit more into the crease just to blend it out so far I know it looks a little crazy it looks a little bit crazy but we're gonna make it work perfect so now what we're going to do is cut the crease so we're going to cut the crease and I am going to take a little bit of my Maybelline Fit Me, put it on the back of my hand. Taking a e.l.f. flat dome brush, I guess it's a dome brush, and we are going to carve this bad boy out. Now this palette does not have a mirror, but not a worry because have one that has a Mia. You know, this brush is not that bad for creating a, a halo here. Cool. So then I'm just going to take the opposite end of that Morphe brush, or the Morphe brush, the um, Profusion brush, and I'm going to pick up this shade right here, Sunny. And I want to wet my brush a little bit here. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this Mario brush, dip into Sunny. Okay. Definitely there. Just see how it applies. Okay, finger with Sunny a lot better, a lot, lot better than using the brush. Just taking the R39 a little bit more of fuse and just lightly stamping that in between the outer corner and the uh, Sunny shade just to soften the lines up. Just a tad, just really going in lightly here. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is just put on the brows and some eyelashes, um, and then I'll be back to finish up the rest of the face and kind of pull this look together, because right now it does look a little bit crazy, but it's gonna be bomb. Okay, so brows are on and lashes are on. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of the Maybelline Great Lash. Bam! And the lashes that I have on are these that I got from Amazon. They came in a pack. Five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fifty of them um, for I think like ten bucks. So definitely these are really nice to have. Um, these are the ones I'm wearing right now. They also come with these. These ones, you know, just like kind of day-to-day lashes. Um, these ones that I had on my previous video. And then these bad boys right here. So they come with a lot of different, various types of lashes. And I really like that. Um, I like these a lot. They're, they're really fun. Cool. Kind of to play with, you know. So to move on to the face. To the first. I am going to use the Kat Von D Locket Foundation because I have been loving this foundation. And when I say loving, I don't mean like, oh yeah, I like it. No, like I legit want to be covered in this foundation 
because it is so full coverage. Yesterday, I yes was it yesterday. Yesterday, I wore it out to dinner with my boyfriend's parents, and it stayed on all night, girl, all night. So definitely love this. If it's not in your collection, I highly, highly recommend you at least try it um, because, like I mentioned, it is just mm, good. Full coverage, everything. So I'm just going to take it on my damp beauty sponge, and this probably will do me just fine, this one little pump, because it is just so covering. Yes, foundation. Hide all those imperfections in my problems. Now, I haven't tried this brush or this brush, this foundation with a brush yet, but I'm sure it will be just as fine. So today for concealer, I'm going to try something different. Um, I'm going to go in with the NYX Full Coverage Concealer. And this is in the shade beige. It's a little cream pot here. Um, and it says that it's lightweight, crease-free. So we'll just go ahead and give this a go. I have had tried this before, but I just didn't like it. So now I'm going to try it again. I'm going to use that same brush that I used to blend out my primer, my concealer, my primer. So let's just see. So far, don't like the brush. So I'm gonna go in with the my beauty sponge here. And just get a little bit. And apply it that way with the sponge better I mean overall it's not a bad concealer I just don't know how I feel about the little cream pots yet because this is my first um, concealer that I've tried like this so we'll just have to see how it wears throughout the day and I am going to run a few errands today so definitely you know we'll get an update and I'm not just staying in the house <laughs> concealer definitely gonna see you know how it wears throughout the day but I am gonna set it with my covergirl loose setting powder I'm just gonna take that on the sponge here and just and I'm just going to set the rest of the face For a little bit of contouring, contouring, I'm going to take the MAC Bone Beige Emphasize Sculpt and Shape Powder. And I'm just going to take that. I'm going to take this shade right here on my Morphe RG8 brush. Just a little bit because this is the first time a bitch is applying this shit. And we don't know how it's going to be. I feel about this yet but gave me some color in there I have to play with it a little more but for bronzer I want to take the Ulta little palette thing here and I'm going to pick up these two shades and just add some warmth back to the skin I'm gonna take this Morphe R14 brush. Oh my God, I've had this bitch for a while now. Uh, I'm just gonna take a little bit of the CoverGirl Loose Setting Powder and just lighten it up down here. So for highlight, I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Precious Petals. This 
this wet and wild highlight right here. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so now to finish the lower lash line, I am going to pick up the shade, what is it called, Roots, down here, this bad boy, and I'm going to just take that on a M411 brush. Yeah, so now I'm going to take this shade right here, Fuse, and just run that really, really tightly to the lashes. Now for the inner corner, I'm going to take this shade up here called Frolic on a Morphe M168 and just... Mm. So for eyeliner, I'm going to take the Morphe eyeliner in Falling for Green, and I'm just going to run this bitch in the waterline. And then to set the face, because this is pretty much, oh, actually, er, backup, backspace, delete, labor day is over. I'm just going to top the lips with the um, Kathleen ColourPop Dream Street collaboration um, in Moonchild. Mm. That's a good gloss. Love the way this is, it's a mist. It's legit a mist and it's just um, but I just, I don't know. Kind of reminds me when it's a hot ass summer day in Arizona and you know, you're outside trying to enjoy a drink at a restaurant or whatever. And they got like the misters going and you just like kind of catch it, you know, and you're just like, okay, I'm okay. That's what it reminds me of, and I just, I just love the way it feels on, on my skin and on my face and all, how it sets everything. But let me stop rambling on because I want to give you guys um, kind of an update about this palette. Now, this is the look I did create, and I am going to say that I really, really like it. It's for a ten dollar palette. Like this is not bad at all. I told y'all we were gonna make it work, and I'm definitely wearing this out right now to run my errands, but. Overall, with this palette, I really, really did enjoy it. Um, again, this is my first time using it, but I am going to be using it more often because I definitely want to dive into a couple of these colors over here. Um, but $10 is really not that bad for 21 eyeshadows. And although I did wish it had a little bit more matte shades in here, um, I'm not mad at it. You can definitely make the shimmers work. You can definitely put them in the crease and get a lot of use out of this palette and it is really 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 it's good I blended really nice it's you know it's on there how long it stays on there we won't know until you know I go through on without my day but um, yesterday the not yesterday the other time when I the time I filmed using the um, using this palette right here the Sienna's it did stay on my eyelids all all day so um, I did lose I th believe I did lose a little bit of color in the lid but that's not a big issue to me um, and it was really more towards the end of the night that I really noticed it but this both of these palettes here um, this video should be up already so you guys should definitely see you know kind of the first impressions of this one um, but let me open these these two palettes here are definitely really good. They were both $10 and you really can use these a lot and get your $10 worth out of them. This one, um, this one does have a lot more mattes than the chocolates one, but 
overall really good palette i really enjoyed it you will definitely see more videos of me at least digging in here or using another look out of this because um, definitely want to utilize these as much as possible and they're only ten dollars like bitch ten dollars okay and for some reason i really get a like a natasha denona vibe on this i really do <laughs> like i don't know i just do and then the um the Sienna's palette, this one right here, I'm pretty sure I said in the video that I filmed, gives me the Sephora, like, warm tone palette. Yeah. Or even the Huda Beauty one. But, um, they just look really, really similar. I don't have either of those, the Tasha, Natasha Denona or the Huda Beauties, so I don't know for sure, but they kind of look similar. And, bitch, it was only $10. How much can I say it? it's only $10? Like, go to your local Walmart, go into your makeup section, and pick one of these up. They have another one there, too, that I probably will get when I'm out at Target today. Um, but, yeah, overall, really, really nice, really, really good. I enjoyed it filming this look for you guys so I hope you all enjoyed it too and this is a very inexpensive makeup look that you guys can um I look that you guys can achieve again ten dollars I will say it over and over and over again ten fucking dollars so without further ado let me just end this video again I hope you all enjoyed please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up that way I know you guys like these types of videos and you guys enjoy watching me <laughs> um, but also I did start an Etsy shop that link will be down below as well and I'm just gonna stop rambling have a good day guys and I will see you guys in the next video bye